Hi everybody, welcome to Majesty's House of Music. Today we are going to talk about advanced minor chord ideas in the key of F sharp. This is part of our full advanced F sharp course that goes for over three hours. So if you're interested to learn this kind of movements in much more detail, then please consider ordering the full F sharp course, the advanced course. I'll put the links uh, to the website and also contacts in the description below this video so this is just an extract but for those of you interested in the full course then you'll benefit much more from this and more movements okay so let's get right into this lesson uh, okay welcome to this lesson now in the previous lesson we did augmented chords in this one we are going <laughs> kind of more basic to minor <laughs> minor chords so this is going to be a little bit uh, more basic than the the other parts so for those who don't understand what a minor chord is uh, let's explain this so this is a sharp this is major then if you want to make it minor just just flat this to the flat three so so that's F sharp minor. Inversions. So. So, uh, that's the uh, minor chord. So there are so many minor chords on the scale. So uh, the first minor chord we have on the F sharp major scale is the two, then the three, and the six. So those are the three minor chords we have on the major scale. So that's major, minor, minor, major, Major, minor, diminished, then back to major. So, so, uh, so what I'm going to be teaching you is movements on minor chords. Not necessarily the two, the three, and the six. We can also make these other chords minor. Like we just made the one a minor. We can make the four a minor. Uh, we can make the five a minor. Instead of that, we have this or this. Um, we can even make the seven a minor. Trust me, we can do that. So instead of instead of playing it as a diminished, just play it as a minor. And then you ask me how can you use the <laughs> the minor of the seven to play on any key i will show you just in a few minutes so uh so let me give you the first use of a minor now when you are playing um, when you're kind of playing the seven chord seven chord uh most people play it as a diminished so But now I want you to try playing it as a minor or basically with a minor chord on your right. So let's uh, let's do something like this. Now this is the this is the F. That's your seven. Let's play it with a D sharp major chord. Let's see how it will sound. So now you see what I'm doing on my left. I have an F minor chord and on my right I have a D sharp major chord so I have something like this so how do you use such a chord in your playing so Okay, so 
to there. So this is the minor chord I'm talking about. Instead of making it diminished, make it minor. So minor, then play with a major. E flat. So you can use the slow, the grace note like I taught in the previous chapter. So, so the seven to the three. So, seven. Take note of that chord. So, that's pretty much the movement. So, this minor. So instead of using the seven as a major always, can use it as a minor. Now uh, let me give you an e another example of where you can use the seven as a minor instead of a diminished and still play it on F sharp. So you will hear something like you will hear something like that. That's what I wanted to break down. So. so, the two. See that? So, on my right hand, I have G sharp. D sharp and F sharp. Then on my right hand, I have an F minor chord. F minor chord. So just like we were using it on the left hand in the previous chord, we are using it like this. Now here we are using it like this. So, so you and you're, it's like you are bringing it down from the one. So the one then to the minor seven. So. So even if you are doing a 6-2-5-1 movement, something like that, you don't have to keep on playing the same thing over and over. So, so people, most people play like this. Yeah, something like that. Instead of just playing the the two like that, uh, so instead of playing it like this, this is also a good chord. It sounds really nice. Or if you wanted to apply a quarter chord, you just omit this note. So so. Anyway, that's just a quarter chord. So instead of using it like that, let's change it into this minor. This minor F minor chord. So, so, so. See that one? So, you can voice it anyhow. So the six, the six, to the two, then five to the one. See that one. It's pretty much something simple that you can use. So, the four. So, and uh, and if 
you listen to this other movement, it's also kind of a minor movement. I'm alternating between the the two and the one. Or you can even make it totally a minor movement so that you have you are moving from the six from the two I mean then to the six then to the two then to the six so So that's the two. Then to the five. Oh, I needed to do that there. Okay, so it's kind of a nice movement. So uh, now, how you, how you can apply a minor movement Maybe in a three six two progression, you know, um, something of this sort. So three, this is what you are used to. Three. I taught that movement in the previous chapter on diminished chords. Anyway, um, this is what you can do. Still using this same chord. So. Instead of you just playing it, so this is how you can uh, you can do it. The three. So I'm basically using yeah this minor chord. Okay. Then to the sixth. 